Right. Shaft, shaft locked. off yet. Right, what I'll do next is I'll get uh, these, you've got four Allen head bolts at the bottom and two here. So I'll just get me This one's already loose, that was another one holding the, the chrome cover on that covered my pipes. These bottom four also hold on the exhaust hanger bracket. Right, when you've got to that point, if you just grab your uh, nylon hammer and just give the end of your main shaft a light tap. It'll push the trap door off and break the seal. There is a couple of uh, prying points somewhere on there. I don't like to to use them to be truthful. Right, once you get to that, just carefully draw your gear cartridge out. And just sit it up to one end. Right. 
turn this round. What I'll do next, let's make sure you can see it. This bolt here is your centering bolt for your that sort of that clicks in and locks your your thing into your your drum, your shifter drum into position each each time you change. And this centers it so it's supposedly in the right place. So just uh, unscrew that. Now on your shifter arm, on the connector, on the end of the shaft, sorry, there's a little, little tiny circlip. Give it something to point at it. Yeah, just right in here. So I'll just uh, and it's got really tiny holes in it, so looks like I'm going to be taking it out with a screwdriver. quite fiddly when you haven't got the right size uh, circlip players. I keep meaning to invest in a pair but you know how it is. The circlip will be getting replaced with a new one, so if you knacker it, taking it out, don't worry about it. And then using your little spike, just Break the washer surface, put your washer off, and then slide that out.
all this crap that you see here obviously a build up of road dirt and stuff off your belt when it's wearing over time but what's happened is the seal in here has gone oils come through the seal and spread itself lightly over and on all the shit sticks so it's a good idea to keep a check on these right that's it for now I'll get uh, set up and we'll get on to the next bit Right, next we'll move, remove the main drive gear, this, take out the, uh, the spacer, now you can buy a proper kit to pull this gear out, but realistically use a nylon, a nylon hammer this is a dead blow and just uh, tap the end, never hit the end of this with a steel hammer you'll damage it just repositioned you there as I uh, was knocking the camera right as you saw just tapping this through once you've got it moving dip it on its side support the, the gear underneath Crowd. and there's your gear hope you've just seen that yeah so I'll just stick that to one side for now o-ring that goes in with your spacer and your screwdriver in between your, your seal and your bearing you should be able to just twist the oil seal out as you can see it's just sprung the well snapped the little garter spring that's in the seal but obviously that's not getting reused so it doesn't matter Right, the next uh, step here, big circle clip in here that holds this bearing in. So we'll get uh, some big circle clip players on the job and get that out. It's quite a stiff circle clip, this one. Round for better access.
fiddly as well this one because it doesn't like to come out of its groove so easy this is getting a strip this bearings uh, starting to let go and there's no play in it there's no it's just noisy but better with a new one right on there that's it for now what I'll do I'll come back later with it and I'll push this bearing out which is your oh, I forgot what it's called that's your main shaft bearing anyways and that's your other shaft bearing and when I remember what it's called I'll tell you right I'm just going to stick this to one side for now so I'll just stop you and I'll come back Right, we're going to take the gears off and everything, strip it. What I've done is I've set up a, a board here that's marked up main shaft and counter shaft and trap door end, and you can see the writing there, it just says drive side. Mark the positions of the gears. Basically, it's just handy to keep everything in order. What I'll do is I'll strip it down, place it all on that board and then wash each thing and check it over so what I did do was uh, took this snap ring off and uh, obviously forgot to put the camera on yet again so that that one goes in the groove there just put that there what I'll do first We'll lock Just lock them in. So we'll finish off taking these. bolts off and the little spacer that one's off the main shaft same on counter shaft I'm sure you can see this Again, if you get your, your nylon hammer, just support your Right, as you can see there, there's a few gears come off. So what I'll do is just lift off. That's the uh, your fifth gear. On the counter shaft. And then you can lift off the fourth gear off the counter shaft. Sorry, the second gear. Get this all mixed up. Second gear off the main shaft. There's another snap ring in here, and another snap ring here. There's also a split cage bearing here, 
which again I'll be replacing all these but just remove your bearing and you've got this snap ring to take off and a snap ring on here to take off but what I'll do first is I'll just carry on knocking these shafts out You'll notice there the, bear, the gears fell off again. But I'll be replacing these bearings. So, again, nylon hammer. Don't use a steel hammer to strike the end of your shafts because you'll damage them. Doesn't matter about damaging these bearings because they're getting replaced. So, just stick that to one side. While we're at it, there's a washer here that's got a slight raised part a raised edge on the flat side and it's like a chamfered tapered edge that side the shape the tapered edge faces the trap door and that's off the main shaft the other one on the counter shaft is just proper flat it doesn't have a raised bit it's still chamfered on the other side and the chamfer faces the trap door so then we can slide off fourth gear split cage needle roller come off there as well then you've got another snap ring here. Go to this one, pull off the fourth gear, pull off first gear, and again you've got another split cage needle bearing in here. Washer. And then on the counter shaft you're left with two snap rings to take off and then you can take your third gear off and that's your counter shaft stripped which I'll do in a minute and on your main shaft you've got a snap ring there there's also another snap ring underneath your third gear sorry yeah your third gear I was getting myself mixed up there um, and a snap ring above third gear so I'll set two and get these snap rings off now you can get proper pliers for taking snap rings off which I have got but I just don't know where they're at so I'm doing it with a bit of a, a bodge you can skin up away
snap ring off first gear off I'm going to knock you off for now and see if I can find any proper snap ring players. Right, unable to find me proper snap rings, but I've got something that will do the job. Right, that's uh, got a thrust washer again, and that's your third gear off. Another split cage needle roller. shaft stripped Snap ring left. And that's your counter shaft stripped. Yeah, that's it for now. Come back later.